Hey guys, this is Katie Colleen here and I'm gonna show you how to do this Batgirl inspired makeup. Okay, so for this we are going to start off with clean face and I'm just gonna go through with the primer, concealer, foundation routine. I don't think I really need to get into how I do that. The only thing I did wanna like shout out, I have acne, people get acne, it's okay and I'm on the internet doing a makeup tutorial with my acne. But I'm, I'm going for it, so you can too. So I'm going to start out with a, what are these called? <sighs> Eyeliner pen. This is just a drugstore Maybelline one. It's called Lasting Drama. So I'm gonna use this to sketch out the outline of the mask, bat symbol thing. I don't want it to look exactly like Batgirl's mask as much as kind of like Nightwing's. And I still wanna like make it look like a bat symbol. So then I definitely want to have like the bat curves to it also. And then I'm gonna have the, the like center of the bat symbol on my nose. Let's start filling it in, and then we can make some adjustments. Okay, so I'm using the James Charles palette. I really like how the pigments stick for this sort of stuff. So I'm gonna be using the black, spooky, and I'm gonna fill this in with the black, and I'm just using a blending brush. Give yourself space around the eye area, because we are gonna do an eye look with this as well. Just erase our whoopsies right there. Let me zoom you guys in. So I'm going to first put on some eyelid primer and I'm using the MAC Paint Pot for my primer. Okay, so now let's get into the eye look. So I'm going to, I'm still using the James Charles palette. Let's make it pop and there are some awesome colors. Ah! And there's some awesome colors to do that. At the top of the eye, just up here, we're gonna put some kind of gold yellow. What are our options? Ooh, we have this really bright yellow. And I'm blending that all the way out into kind of our mask area. First of all, what is, what is this on my nose? So now that we have the yellow, I'm definitely gonna wanna do more of like, kind of like a smoky eye. I just want it also to pop on the edges. So in the middle, just on the lid, I'm gonna want a darker, darker color and just go back and forth over the eyelid. Just like that, blending it into that yellow. Now to continue our smoky eye gradient, let's go down to a bit of a darker color. So I'm gonna take that and go just right along the lid here and blending it out with that brown. And now for some red. So I'm gonna add the red just on this outer part here on the outside of the eye. And I'm gonna blend this into our black mask region as well. So I have like this edge brush, edge brush. So I'm gonna try and line the under the eye with the red and then the yellow. And right now I look kind of like a parrot. So I'm hoping we can, we can remedy that. Let's <laughs> fix the black mask part. Now that we kind of have our eye look down a little. The first thing that really bothers me is my eyebrows. They're just kind of there. And I'm going to make my eyebrows black so that they blend in. And then we take our little, our little spiked ends and we're gonna brush through. 
I'm going to go back with that black color and kind of do some blending on the edges. See right, like right, right here, it just does not look good. I want to blend a little here. Let's see if I can just pat this on, kind of let it get a little darker around the edges. Now that we've laid down that pigment, let's go back with our brush that has the yellow on it and really just blend that in now that we have, we have both pigments there. I'm just kind of moving up so that I'm moving the yellow into the black instead of the black into the yellow. So I'm pretty happy with how the eyeshadow looks. So I'm going to put on some eyeliner and then we can go and kind of finish up these rough edges on the mask. So we're gonna to need to clean up the edges of this mask. I'm thinking the liquid line is gonna get us a finer. It's like, uh, you know when you do art and you like go back with the pen and do lining? I wanna do that but with our face and with liquid line. I think I'm making it worse. Yeah, I made it worse. If you mess up, keep in mind you can always just wreak havoc on the makeup look you've been working on for so long and restart. My problem is I want to sneeze. So now I have this whole thing lined and now I'm going to take concealer and go around the outside edge just kind of white it out. So I'm going to take some concealer and I'm going to put a little blob on my hand. To make it really extra, I'm just going to put some of this bright yellow and I'm just going to kind of line the edges. So I'm going to take some setting spray and I'm going to set this because I do not want it to smear. So I'm using these uh, Ardell Faux Lashes again from the drugstore. This makeup is expensive. So now we're going to go over it with the mascara. This will just kind of like mesh my natural lashes to the fake lashes. So I'm going to use this bright red uh, liquid lip from Wet n Wild. in the comments if you would like to see more of this. I loved hanging out with all you guys today. I'll see you in the next video.